I've heard a lot about that. I'm not sure I believe it. Not a step further. No one is allowed into the city without an entry permit. I heard you hold people prisoner if they can't prove their identities. Of course. You need a valid ID to enter or to leave. It's important we keep the right balance here and that we can hold people accountable. We've worked hard to keep things running here. We can't start letting people flood in or the troublemakers will take over. Anyone who tries to get around with ID is given straight to the suggestors to be taken care of. What's a suggester? Our suggestors are the reason things remain peaceful in the city. If someone causes trouble, then they're either thrown out, see a suggester for reorientation, or both. But don't worry, it's a positive experience that will leave you happy about life. Even so, I recommend avoiding it. I have an entry ID. Let me through. Really? I thought I knew all the ones that had been issued. And you were here asking about getting ID before. So tell me where you got this one. It's a counterfeit. It's a fake ID. A fake? Then it's a good one. I normally spot those right off. Well, I'll have to confiscate this. But what to do with you now? Seeing as you played it straight with me, you get lucky. I'll issue you with a valid ID. Just make sure you take this fake straight to Eric when you get inside, right? And that's not a request. Oh, and uh, there are some rules I need to tell you before you enter. First, stay away from the generators. Nobody but the technicians is allowed access to them. That sort of security is why we need to keep a rein on fake IDs. So take that fake straight to Eric, okay? Anyone you meet in the city who hasn't got proper documents, report them to him. We can only keep peace in the city if we all work together, and we keep the city secure. That's what was laid down by the Great Council of Magalan. And the Great Council gave the clerics the responsibility for guaranteeing the city's independence. That means everyone is welcome here, until they cause trouble. So keep the peace while you're in there. Our suggestors are busy enough without you adding to their workload. And that's it. You may pass. What's happening in the city? Nothing right now, but it's simmering. You can feel it. There was something building even before we let those Alps separatists in here. They just lit the touch paper. But hey, we're supposed to be a sanctuary, so... Someone decided to open the gates and let the Separatists in. How many Separatists are there in the city? Too many. Once an Alb, always an Alb. They still hit Elix. It's just a matter of time before they turn back. I don't know what they want in the city. I'd heard a bunch of them had set up a base in the west of Abessa, so they could have gone there. If we weren't so busy here, we'd have tracked them down and cleared them out of Abessa. Last thing we need is Zaykor thinking we're harboring rebels. Where can I find Eric? Just go straight down the path into the inner city. You should find him there. You mentioned the Council of Magalon. The Great Council, yes. You'll have to speak to Judicator Alois if you want to know more about that. I'm not that well informed on my history. Who's Alois? Alois is the Judicator in charge of the city. You'll find him in the castle. He likes to stay close to the generators.
Tell me about the city. Right, well, where to start? First off, a lot of people are avoiding the north of the city. This place always has something going on, but right now, there's really something brewing. That means the North isn't exactly welcoming unless you're a thug. The Western section's safer. You're okay there as long as you don't break the law or look funny or say something the clerics don't like. The Southern part, well, that is really quiet. Nothing really happens there, but wherever you are, you should know the clerics are watching. Alois, he runs this place and he hates thieves and beggars and trouble causers and pretty much anyone. He thinks he's God's messenger or something and that means he's got one big old stick up his ass. So don't piss him off. If you ignore anything else, don't ignore that advice. Don't piss off the clerics. There now. You are fully informed. There's no one near enough Felix out there for that. What do you want? Do you back the clerics here, or do you want them gone? You get right to the point, don't you? And are you gonna give me an answer? I'm against the clerics. Right, good. I can see you talk sense. They say they're here to keep things safe, to keep order. But it's obvious they want to drop their neutrality and extend Ignadon's control into Abessa. Not allowing anyone in or out of the city, that's just the start of it. You think that's because the Alps are getting closer? Or that those followers of Kalan really want a backdoor for invasion? The Alps are more of a threat than the clerics. Executions, converters, torture. Believe me, I know all about that shit. But those guys are only interested in Elix, and as far as I know, there isn't any more here in the city than there is elsewhere. So why should they show any interest in attacking a fortified position to get it, instead of sweeping up all there is out there? The Alps want all the Elix. All of it, no matter where it is. We won't get in their way. We don't want Elix. They have to see that. They'd be attacking us for nothing. No, no, it's the clerics. Hunter sent me. Why didn't he come himself? He was afraid he wouldn't be let out of the city again if he was caught. You mean he was afraid the same thing would happen to him that happened to me? Fuck it. At least the suggestors haven't found me yet. Did Hunter give you something for me? Yes, I have something for you. Thanks. I was starting to think that I would never leave this stinking cleric-infested dome. I don't know if Hunter promised you a reward, but here's something for me in any case. You've helped a good cause. Trust me, 